hi hi everybody welcome to my channel and today's video i'm going to give you some tips to be more proactive so let's go start first we need now to know what does being proactive mean being proactive means initiating an action in anticipation of future outcomes in contrast being reactive Tip means dealing with the consequence of a situation in the aftermath of it. Proactive over reactive is considered a superior way to make decisions in many aspects of life. For example, a lot of people take a proactive approach when it comes to their health by eating healthy, exercising regularly, or getting enough sleep in order to avoid health issues. A reactive approach to health will be making these decisions after some health issues have already appeared in attempt to deal with the symptoms of an illness. Be proactive is important because it facilitates preparedness and confidence to take control of an anticipated situation. We can, of course, predict the future and always know what circumstance will occur, but we can, however, take active steps to avoid unwanted outcome. Even if something distressing happens, having a proactive attitude enables to make decisions in a mindful, well-informed way and grow those experiences, rather than scrambling to put out unexpected fires. Moreover, proactive people have a goal-oriented mindset that focus set on actions beneficial in the long run. In this way, work life can be less stressful and less likely to contribute to employee burnout. So I'm going to explain what it's being proactive versus being reactive so you can understand in what situation are you or what way are you acting in front of your, your life, like what actions are you taking, proactive or reactive. So let's go. As opposite to be proactive, being reactive means just waiting to things for happen to you. Specifically, circumstances dictate your actions instead of your actions dictating the circumstances. So that is a point that you had to keep in mind to see if you are reactive or proactive. A proactive person use initiative and actions, while reactive people behave as simple weaknesses of their lives. In any situation, whether if something happening in your private or professional life, there is an stimulus and there is a response. In between, there is your freedom to choose what your reaction will be. So that is where we have to decide, be reactive or proactive. That is where we are going to make a difference. Will your reaction be proactive or reactive? If you are not sure, there are some questions to ask yourself that can help you to figure it out. Do you have any kind of long-term plan? Do you take an active or passive role at work and in life? Do you make a decision only when you absolutely have to? Do you think about the future and anticipate possible outcomes? Or do you have more life in the moment approach? Just think about that. Do you feel like life is just happening to you and you are not playing an active role in it? Check all these questions and see what are the answers to figure it out if you are more proactive in your actions or more reactive. If your answers show that you prefer to do more long-term plans and predict possible future outcomes, you are likely a proactive type of person. If you find hard to make calculated decisions and are not actions-oriented, 
it means that you take a reactive approach to life so i'm going to give you five steps to be proactive and you change be reactive and take more actions and power in your life fears predict to be proactive you need to think about the future and possible future outcomes in other words you need to develop foresight the ability to correctly predict what will happen in the future you need to be ready for any kind of problem that might occur the first step towards learning how to prevent future events is to pay attention to patterns or routines that usually happen. However, there is a catch. For example, if you have certain business strategy that has been proven to work, you still have to be aware of the fact that past results do not always predict future results. So be aware of that. Also, some things have worked in the past there is no warranty they will work in the same way in the future you always had to leave some room for unexpected circumstances come up with multiple scenarios for how events can unfold that way you will be ready to take actions whatever happens second step prevent after you visualize all the possible obstacles that may occur in the future, think about the way you could deal with them before they become a huge problem. Don't be passive and afraid of controlling challenge. Instead, take control of your life and be more active. Challenge had to be controlled head on. So try to control problems before they escalate and turn into chaos. The third step is plan. And plan is another important step towards being proactive. In order to plan, you need to shift your focus from the here and now to the future. To achieve a future goal, you need to plan your steps carefully toward reaching that goal. Think about what you can do today to ensure positive resource later on. For a step, participate. If you stay aside and just observe what is happening, you won't be able to solve anything. In order to find solutions, you must get involved. For instead, participating in discussion with your college, your partner, family members, basically in any aspect of your life, is much better to be an active participant than a passive observer. And remember, everyone's contribution is equal important when making a decision or solving a problem. Five and last step, perform. The final step to becoming a proactive person is showing that you are willing to do the actual work. Now it's time to stop postponing and make a decision. And when you make a decision, stand behind it. To be proactive, you can afford to be reluctant. Plan your path toward achieving your goal. Consider all possible outcomes and confidently take the final step. A proactive person doesn't act impulsively. They examine and reflect on their actions and most importantly, recognize that they are responsible for their own choices. I hope that with these tips, you can have conscious and awareness what kind of person you are. Are you proactive or are you reactive? And if you are reactive, try to do some change in your actions 
to take control of your life, set some goals, develop a plan in order to get those goals, and you're gonna see that you're gonna start getting power in control of your future. It's going to be more proactive and you're gonna get results easy whatever your goals are so i hope guys that you enjoy and learn something today and my five steps to be proactive and i'm gonna leave you with some clothes that i get on amazon and let's go see those dresses but first i want to tell you guys thank you for all of you that subscribe to my channel and also for following my other platforms instagram tiktok facebook page everything you found in the link in my bio on youtube but also in the link in my tiktok and instagram um there we go and also guys thank you all of you that have checked and purchased something in my storefront amazon where i I post my favorite outfits from amazon and also items i hope that you check them out in the link and also you're gonna find that in the description below my videos and there we go so today i have these addresses all right Ooh, this is green the fabric is thick and uh it's kind of short dress and come with this here little uh it's wrinkle wrinkle in the in the in front so i think that it's really really pretty yeah the fabric is kind of like it's a little elastic but not too much it's kind of like cotton and it have this little thing here in the in front so uh it looks pretty cool it's like an open shoulders too so i like this all right so let's go uh go to the next one this one let's go Ooh. all right look at all this hold on oh. this is black all right um uh, the fabric is kind of like it's really thin it's really thin and it's really soft and if i know well let me see in the neck it's kind of round round neck do not have sleeves at all it's kind of short dress and have in front something pretty cool you can see it it is it a a of andrea that is cool and we're gonna see how it looks on and there we go i really love the fabric it feels so soft let's go wow. it's red of course Ooh. and the material is really soft it's super soft it's come to tie in the neck like this it's open shoulders in the back it's totally open it's tied to your body yeah, the fabric is kind of elastic and it's kind of wrinkled too in the sides and come with this thing in front it's kind of really nice i don't have anything red so this is gonna be nice to put it on we're going to try these dresses Ah, uh, there we go. This is the fierce outfit, and I really love the color. There we go. It's the the fabric is really soft, and it's not thin, and it's not thick. It's like in the middle, and in the back it's open shoulders. If you can see, it's open shoulders there. I really love the color. I mean, I I like green things, but I never have anything like this color. In the top, it is up. It's open shoulders and have this opening here, like it make the dress look a little sexy i'm going to show the dress in the bottom so there we go it's not too long it's kind of 
a little higher from the knee and it's kind of tied to your body right so it gives you a really nice shape the fabric is kind of like cotton it even feels elastic it feels elastic a little bit but it's more like cotton you can see that it's really really soft it's super super soft it's like a wrinkle here in front we have a visitor hello hello matthew are you okay do you eat your lunch matthew all right matthew's going to do the fashion matthew do you like this dress do you like this dress matthew are you okay let me know in the comments guys if you like this dress i really love the the fabric a lot in the bottom look in the bottom it's uh it's really really cool i hope that you like this dress because i really love it Ooh, i really love the color a lot you can see the dress in the top i really like the color a lot and it's super super soft it's really really comfortable all right i love also that it's open shoulders you know i like uh dresses with your belt open i think that it's kind of sexy and i hope that you let me know in the comments if you like this dress all right it's cute there Let's go see the next one. All right, so this is the next dress, and it's so cute. There we go. I think that I love this dress. It's different to the others. It's really tight to your body, and there we go. Let me know guys if you like this dress The fabric is really thin The fabric is really really thin And it feels also really soft And it gets pretty good your body So I really really love this dress I hope that you let me know in the comments if you like this dress or what is your favorite i found this in amazon and i really love the top also it's round neck open shoulders you said that and uh in the back it's covered all the back but the open shoulders it made this feels like fresh and it's not it's not feel too hot it's kind of thin the fabric is really thin you can use this kind of like for go to a party and also for like a night dinner it's super super comfortable i really love it now look at the front has some design there all right so i hope that you like this dress i really love it let me know in the comments there we go i use them with some black high heels i hope that you let me know in the comments what is your favorite i like this one this is different all right so this is the last outfit i really like the color i don't have too much jeans red the fabric is really thin and it's also really soft it's really comfortable it's not too hot like that. it's really really thin it's really really tight to the body there we go you can see them there far away i use this with black high heels and i hope that you let me know in the comments what is your favorite in the top it's it's really open it comes in a big u it have a little thing here in the middle to tie this here and also in the back is for tie the dress in the top 
it's open shoulders like it's really really open in the back there the fabric is kind of elastic it's come really really tight and also a little wrinkle here in the middle and i think that is really really comfortable and you can use this to go to a little party or a little like a night dinner um i hope that you let me know in the comments if you like this one in the side it's gonna come, come like a wrinkle you saw come like a wrinkle here and also in the other side but you can see that it's really really super tied to the body you can find this in other colors i found this kind of nice because i don't have anything in red so it's kind of nice to have this dress look at that in the back this is the last outfit let me know guys what is your favorite i hope that you like this video guys if you are not subscribed yet subscribe uh, let me know in the comments what is your favorite outfit i really love uh, let me see what is my favorite we had the green one we have this red one and we have what is the other outfit red one green one okay so anyway my favorite outfit is this red one i think that is a uh, pretty nice um i really like and i don't have too much red things so i thought that is kind of cool and let me know in the comments what is your favorite now don't forget guys you can find these dresses in my store front in the link in my bio on tiktok instagram and also here on youtube and there we go see you in the next video bye bye